Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's first video. Go to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days for today's first video. Day 10 will take us to the 27th of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the XOGFS and ECM ensembles. They run around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That gets us into the, uh, well into the first half of May. And uh, I shall get time back for you in a moment. Just to say that first, a video say was our 6am UK weather forecast. And we've released a little update for the early May bank holiday as well. So uh, if you would like to, please check out those two videos. And like, share, subscribe on vids. And we thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. We will be live streaming um, at 8pm this evening. So we're going to have our first live stream for a couple of weeks. We'll hang out, see how we're all doing and um, it's going to be fun, and uh, we'll have a look at the uh, 12 set bottle runs as well. And if that wasn't enough, we will show some long range. We'll get pens and analogs uh, for the next uh, several months um, in our live tonight. So I should see you a little bit later on. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. We've got this video to do um, first. So we're going to begin, as ever, with CT, central temperature, holding very steady and stable, really. It's got a point one of a degree. <coughs> Excuse me, since yesterday to uh, 8.1, that's just point two of a degree above average, 6.90, of course, uh, and that is provisional to the 16th of, uh, of April, so to yesterday. That will probably tick up a little bit more over the next day or so, may start dropping mode by the end of the week and the weekend as things start turning cooler. These are a GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. Looking at London today. So the red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for London. What do we make of that? Uh, I talked about this in a video yesterday. So much scatter there, but it is really hard to make anything out. The most reliable part is the beginning, of course. So we start off around. You're probably a little bit below average, if anything, over the uh, next week or so. There is a bit of a tick up in the upper air temperatures just there. So the ensemble members do become quite warm, actually, very briefly. Um, and then, you know, from around here onwards, we've got so much scatter. The majority of the ensemble members are going cold um, through the final week of April. Some of them are going warm, very warm. These ones are going hot. They're going off the scale. <laughs> Look, um, those ones up there, they are outrageous outliers, but they're there. They're within the uh, ensemble, so it's a possibility, a bit of remote one, that we might have seen some extreme heat through the last week of April. But the most likely scenario appears to be that things are going to get colder, actually, into the last week of April, and another little cold snap on the way. Before, into the beginning of May, we see a bit of a recovery event in the uh, upper air temperature. But, 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 please bear in mind that it's a huge amount of scatter there. So, from the coldest ensemble member down there, to the warmest up here, um, there's going to be something like 10, 20, going to be something like a 25 degree te <laughs> temperature differential, temperature difference between the coldest and warmest on solar members, which is absolutely crazy. Um, precipitation wise, it's going to be quite a dry weather over the next few days, things start turning more unsettled at the weekend. And through the final week of April, we have got plenty of uh, precipitation spikes coming through there. Show about that uh, it's probably going to turn and settle again in the last week of the month. Uh, let's have a quick look at Snow Row, see if anything's shown up there. So nothing for London with Snow Row. Let's go to Leeds. Uh, so for Leeds, there are a few snow spikes showing up there, unbelievably, in the uh, last week of April from the 25th to 27th. Um, no, maybe a little bit of snow will get involved in the weather in the last week of April. Will we have to do one last snow watch? I wonder. Temperature anomalies. Excuse <coughs> me again. Temperature anomalies from the 17th to 20th of April. Are uh, coming out colder than average. Uh, and precipitation and knowledge from the 17th, 25th of April. Um, so a little bit dry than average for more western areas, wetter than average in the south, and possibly for eastern parts of Scotland too. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> Latest wind flow map from EarthNoldSchool.net shows we now have a Scandinavian high. We've now got an area of high pressure over Scandinavia. And winds, therefore, are coming in from the east around that area 
of high pressure. Right, should we start going through chart data then? Why not? This is how the latest UK Met Euro run is looking for midnight on Thursday with a, a very, very nice Scandinavian high and uh, winds in from an easterly direction there. And there's a little bit of an up level trough heading our way as well. See so if we can give me isobars. The foundation here, we always watch out for kinky isobars. I don't know. Um, anyway, that trolley is on its way in, uh, brings showers all along as well as the rain through uh, the end of the week. Again, notice the allegation, the ice bars there telling us that a trough is pushing in on those easterly winds. That's about to actually into an area of low over the top of the country by uh, Saturday. Um, and then on into the weekend, we get high pressure blocking around Greenland, low pressures over Norway, and winter coming in from a very chilly or even quite cold northeasterly direction, then. A uh, rare temperature showed by a spy sales iceberg is pushing south with my 10 sales iceberg into the north of Scotland. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Um, I can't again with those easterly winds on Thursday. Uh, I'm looking rather showery at the end of the week, it must be said. Into the weekend, blocking out of high pressure around Greenland. Low pressure breaking through underneath it. I can look very unsettled, I have to say, through the weekend into next week. These areas of low pressure will be bringing spells of rain with as well. Probably not as cold as the UK Met scenario, but cool and wet, or cold and wet, with uh, Icon uh, there through the weekend. And into next week, the GFS Midnight Run, again with those easterly winds setting in, or well set actually, uh, by Thursday. A little bit of a trough there coming in on the easterly flow, bringing showers and long spells of rain as well. Into the weekend, looks unsettled and cool or quite cold with low pressure over and to the east coast, a blocking area of high pressure around Greenland. Winds pulling into a northeasterly direction. Northerly winds for the, for the beginning of next week. Looks quite cold, dare I say, a little bit wintry, particularly in the north, at the beginning of next week with a block around Greenland. Low pressure over Denmark and winds coming in from a cold north northeast direction. Those cold northerlies continue really up to day 10. After that, low pressure starts breaking underneath the block as we go towards the uh, end of month, month's end. So it turns milder with winds back in from west southwest, but also unsettled with low pressure being showers or longer spells of rain. That is uh, Bank Holiday Monday, only made Bank Holiday Monday, 1st of May. Um, looking unsettled, showery, uh, really, by them. That's as far as we get to with the GFS Midnight Run. A little bit of a transient ridge building in now on the 3rd of May, but it's only ahead of the next area of low pressures waiting in the wings. Should we have a look at the precipitation forecast? Based on that GFS midnight run from the weather outlook, why not do that? So uh, here we go, both easterlies over the next few days. Eventually they start bringing showers in from the east. Here they come, showers all long spells of rain. They're moving in from the east on Thursday. More showers into Friday. Yes, there's a little winchiness, a little bit of winchiness in with those showers as well. In parts of the Midlands and whatnot, don't take that too literally. Um, into the weekend, further outbreaks of rain looks like a wet pattern, dear, 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 setting up for England and Wales there on Saturday. Heavy rain uh, coming up from the south. Cold, lordy winds then start digging in later in the weekend, turning showers wintry across Scotland. And um, into the beginning of next week, there is snow around, particularly in the north, but some wintry showers coming further southwards as well. Goodness gracious me. I don't know about it, do you? And then we go up towards the end of the month and uh, we turn things milder. And then we've got all of this rain piling in from off the Atlantic for the uh, bank holiday uh, weekend. This is how the uh, GFS 6 is looking again with high pressure over Scandinavia. Winds coming in from an easterly direction. We get a little bit of trough within the 500 millibar flow in the south at the end of the week, being showers and door lock spells of rain. And then on into the weekend and the beginning of next week, the high pressure blocking in the north Atlantic up to green. And winds going into that cold northerly direction. So the GFS 6 set also bringing cold weather uh, next week. We get an area of low pressure forming within that cold and stable air. Uh, that pushes through and just renews the northerly, actually, as we move towards the bank holiday weekend. This is Friday 28th of April, just beyond day 10. We have a cold or a very cold north 
or northeasterly wind, very carbon type of year, of course, it's all comparative. Um, and then we go into the background of the weekend, looking very chilly as well, actually. Um, that's a chart for the bank for bank holiday Monday, the 1st of May. And that was quite cold. There's an area of low pressure in the north that would bring uh, showers along the spells, rain, maybe something a little bit more, more wintering in northern areas, and that low pressure sinking southwards through the country uh, through the opening days of May. Oh, goodness gracious me. Getting worse, isn't it? <laughs> right, uh, this whip to change forecast based on that uh, GFS 6 z run. Again, we've got the easterly winds in over the next few days. In comes that trough on Thursday, bringing showers or longer spells of rain. More wet weather coming in from the east on Friday. Um, it could be quite a cold, wet pattern on Thursday and Friday, I'm afraid, for England and Wales. Uh, then the normally winds start setting in as we go through the weekend into next week. Uh, this is Monday. Rain in the south, turning to snow, maybe. Since snow, parts of the Midlands, wintry showers <coughs> excuse me, to the north of that. We may have to do snow watch by the end of the week. I can't believe this. And then we get through beyond that and further wintry showers in the north, especially rain, first out cold rain. Then low pressure digs in from the northwest at the end of the uh, the end of that week and it just renews the northerly. So now we're on the eve of the Bank Holiday weekend, Friday twenty eighth of May, with wintry showers in the north and in the west too. Um, and further, that's Bank Holiday Monday. Further showers or long spells of rain from Sunday into Monday. Good great be. I won't go any further. This is depressing <laughs> and hard, uh, isn't it? Uh, right, okay. If you're enjoying the video, and I know a lot of you won't be wanting to see this sort of model output, but you know, it is what it is. I have to tell it as it is. So, um, I just hope you appreciate that it's not my fault. You know, I'm just a messenger. If you enjoy the video, please think you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. GM, again, with a high pressure. We've got about 70 subscribers, by the way. 70 subscribers will get us to 15.8K. So if you could give us a sub, please do so. Tell friends and family to subscribe to Gaz Worthies. You'll be able to watch our content, live streams, and whatnot. Uh, together with your friends and family and uh, chew it all over, have a debate about it, have a debate about what gaps are <laughs> after a Friday night stream and that. And uh, thank you so much for doing that. Right, GM with high pressure of Scandinavia and the wings in from the east on Thursday. It's Friday brings a trough in from the east, that brings shows on both as well. Into the weekend, low pressure with uh, a cool or cold north northeast wind, cold and wet, really, in the, uh, in the weekend. Into the beginning of next week, goodness gracious me, look at this big, big block around green, low pressure in the North Sea, and wind still coming in from that cold north northeast direction. Next week looks cold, I have to say. Uh, by the way, I haven't spoken about risk of overnight frost, there probably will be overnight frost as well. So you will have to cover up your delicates next week. ECM, again with wind pulling into the east on Thursday. Um, there's that sharp chop of Friday into the weekend. Not quite cold and unsettled with low pressure around the country. With, uh, high pressure blocking around Iceland. Green winds in from a north northeasterly direction. Uh, normally continues into into the beginning of next week, but then we cut it off, and actually we get wind up from the south by Thursday. So all, all of the model output, the ECM, is the mildest, and probably a little bit less unsettled for uh, next week as well. Most of your models are looking colder and uh, wetter than today's midnight ECM run. Precipitation forecast based on that ECM run, again shows, shows that wet weather coming in, from the east with that trough through the uh, end of the week. Showers or longer spells of rain focus on England and Wales. Showery over the weekend and quite cool as well. The showers turn wintry in the north through the weekend and into the beginning of next week. And then it starts turning milder with rain in the west and mostly dry weather in the south and southeast with winds coming up from the south. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensembles for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 27th of April 22. Members of the ECM 
on solvents with low pressure in off the Atlantic. High pressure is over France. That can be unsettled, but it should be relatively mild with winds coming up from the southwest. We've got 19 clear control and the operational run with high pressure again to our south and east, low pressure away to our west and north. And winds should be coming up from like a southerly direction. As I say, that includes the control and the operation run. And then 10 with high pressure blocking around green and low pressure is to our south and winds coming in from a cold or a chilly anyway, east to northeasterly direction. That's a minority option. That's a current option. It's a minority option mode within the ECM ensembles. And then in two time, uh, these are the options that we've got. This gets us to the 2nd of May. 24 members of the ECM ensembles with low pressure to the north, high pressure to the south. So that looks as bad as pancake. And most of settled therefore in the north. 19 again with high pressure reaching into the southwest. Low pressure is away to the northwest. Winds coming up. A southwest direction with that, and then eight with high pressure out to our northwest, low pressure to our south and southeast. The winds are coming in from a chilly east or northeast direction. Um, with that as well, so range of options. They all look a little bit mixed, I have to say. At days 10 and 14, interesting about day 10, most of the options within the ECM ensembles are not as cold as like the rest of my output that we've just been looking at. CFS B2 uh, finally, so these are 500 millibar height and knowledge breaking down into week peers. The first week peers will take us from the 17th to 23rd of April. The coming week has high pressure to the north and is bringing the wind from an easterly direction. As we know, it will start to jarry by the weekend. Week 2 is going to be the 24th to the 30th of April. High pressure to the north of Scotland. Winds again coming in from that easterly direction. Should be main dry, though. Um, now, this looks better for week three. You remember yesterday, week three looked a little bit dodgy. Uh, today, week three, first of a seventh of May, has high pressure back over Scandinavia. Low pressure just out to uh, west. That could be a little bit unsettled, but it should be relatively warm anyway, with winds coming up from southwesterly to southerly direction. And um, it doesn't look too bad either. This is the 8th to the 14th of May. High pressure again. Um, to our north and east and north. These road pressures out to the southwest. Should be relatively warm anyway. Could be a bit unsettled with that low pressure to the west and to the southwest when showers long for spells rain. But at least temperatures should be okay. But uh, we'll see. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please can you like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gav Webbies. I mean, thank you so very much, everybody, for doing that. For our 70 subs to get to 15.8k. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right now, just tell what's coming up later on at 8pm. We are going to be live streaming our first live for a couple of weeks. And uh, we're going to look at the 12Z. And we will have a look at the Tile Peng. Um, in that live stream as well. We're going to run all the way through the rest of the year. So we're going to look at the uh, uh, Talpeng's forecast for the summer, for the autumn, and yes, for the very first time, we'll look at the Talpeng's analog forecast for winter 2023, 2024. Ultra long range in our live stream um, tonight. And so I should see you live at 8 p.m. For that one, uh, tomorrow will have the 6am UK weather forecast. There'll be the extended European outlook and a 10 to 14 day or two. Keep checking back to the channel for more. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Enjoy the rest of your Monday afternoon. I'll see you later on, maybe, for the live. Um, for this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.